everyone, it's Mish here, and uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you uh, for stopping by, and I hope you stop by um, again. And for those of you who keep returning and supporting me, um, you are so greatly appreciated, um, <clears throat> and that and that's uh, and that's very sincere. Uh, today we're going to be doing another page in the Daphne's Diary uh, Glue Book Journal. Um, so if you haven't been following along, um, actually I should have grabbed the journal. If you haven't been following along, it's a, a glue book that we put together, um, I think it was like 20 some weeks ago now because I can't exactly remember what part we're on now, but it's, it's 20 something. Um, but we made the diary out of um, a cereal box um, and then each week uh, have been doing some... Um, little pages um, based on the images in Daphne's diary. Um, so I've been pretty good with sticking to only what's in the diary except for background paper um, just because uh, there's not a lot of options uh, sometimes with, uh, with, with background. Um, so, um, so yeah, so the last um, day, the last week we did uh, Mrs. Foxy Lady um, and I still love that one. And so for this week, I wanted to use um, one of those, the other Im images. I'm going to use uh, Miss Kitty here. Uh, not exactly sure right now what, um, what it's going to look like. I've got a couple ideas in my head. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to do some fussy cutting uh, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I am back and I have found this piece of paper that I'm going to use as the background but before I do that I just want it to just kind of distress the edge a little bit just to break up all the white all the whiteness so I'm just going to take my little blender brush and just kind of go along the edge and I'm just using uh, antique linen, I think. Yeah. I didn't want it too dark, but I just did want to kind of frame the image a little bit. And just by going around the outside, it's going to create a little bit of a frame that may or may not be effective. But we'll see what's happening. Okay. So... I think that it's coming up very kind of stark on the camera, but I think it'll be fine. Blend out some of these little there. Okay, so in issue uh, six and seven, which are the last two issues that I have. There is an advertisement on both of those pages for an advent calendar. So in both of the issues, I've cut off some greenery uh, from the corners here. I've cut off uh, some cranberries. Um, and uh, I also cut out, in the other issue, I cut out this little Christmas tree. And I also cut out a couple of these um, little nutcrackers. Uh, so that's what we're going to use today uh, to decorate our page. So we'll start with the greenery. So I got four pieces, um, two each from the um, each of the advertisements. Um, so I kind of had put it down initially, but I wasn't really... I didn't really care how it went down. I just kind of wanted it to frame, well, to add a little bit of interest to the to the to the collage, maybe like that, and then kind of have that up in the corner. If you hear a little bit of a noise, uh, Chester's here on the table and he's snoring. He does that sometimes. I could go like that and then 
kind of down like that. I think that's kind of nice because sometimes it doesn't have to be exactly even all the time. I think that would go good. So I'm kind of happy with that. So I'm gonna just, I'm just using some Elmer's glue. Um, paper on paper, it's, it's fine. The thing you need to be careful with things like Elmer's glue and glitter glue and uh, stuff like that is that, here, I'll put this one down first, is that it, it, it does have a water content and any glue with a water content does have the ability to warp uh, paper because the paper sucks up the moisture and then it causes it to uh, wrinkle. If you have a glue like um, the Fabri-Tac or T Beacons 2-in-1 or Kalal, that's made with um, acetone so it doesn't tend to warp a it, it won't warp your page because the moisture is not sucked sucked into the to the page to the paper and that's your science lesson for today <laughs> so after i did the uh, videotape the intro this morning i ran off and went out and got all the girls their stocking stuffers I'm trying to get stuff done. I don't have very much left to do, but I'm trying to get it done so that I'm not in the middle of shopping chaos. I just, I just, I don't know if it's because I, since I've gotten older or, or what, but I just hate going shopping. If I have to do something, I tend to try to do it all at once get it over with and I'll leave it go until I absolutely have to do it however as a crafter I will leave the house for craft supplies <laughs> and it's, it's it's almost an incentive for me I'll say okay I'll go I don't know get groceries as long as I can stop at Michael's or go to the thrift store or something and pick up a few bits and bobs. I find the thrift store, it's amazing. It's almost like I make a shopping list and then I go to the thrift store and the universe has um, brought the item for me to have. Okay, so now I have these little, they're hard to hold. I had a bit of arthritis and sometimes that pinchy motion. Um, I thought I'd put these kind of along the bottom, kind of like that. Maybe go up. Yeah, I'm going to go up the side with this one. If you can't hear Chester, it's going to be amazing because he's in the middle of a massive sleep over there. He gets in a deep sleep and then he just snores so loud, which I think is so cute. He's, he's such a good little buddy. Okay, so we'll get that down. So yes, yeah, so I'm almost done with the Christmas stuff. I haven't put up a lot of decorations. I'm not, I'm not sure if I will this year. And it's not that I'm not in the Christmas spirit. It's just, I've always been the one that I put it up early. So the end of November, I'll have everything up. And then Boxing Day, it all comes down. Or the closest day off I have to Boxing Day, it's all down. But we will see. What this year brings. I'm filming this video a little bit early. Uh, it is December 2nd, but I'm trying to get some December ones done 
because as we get nearer to Christmas, I'm you know I might not have enough a lot of time to be filming things, and I still haven't received my Daphne's diary issue eight, the Christmas edition. So that's why I was happy to have these little ad advent advertising pages so that at least I'd have a little bit of something that could be kind of festive. And pine cones and evergreens are so festive. I used to go out in the woods and cut some, get some evergreen boughs and uh, decorate my mantle and and stuff with the fresh boughs because I always had an artificial, well not always, but a lot of years I had an artificial tree. Um, uh, okay, so I think we've got our frame set up. So I've cut out the the kitty cat. And so I've cut out, if I can find it, I've cut out the head and uh, the dress. And then I found a piece of paper. I was going to use some material, but I couldn't find anything that I had that... I felt could go with this so I've just cut out her skirt there and I've got her head so I'm thinking maybe and then I have her little feet here but I want <laughs> she's cute I guess I'll put that up a bit because I, I have a little quote and I want to put the quote kind of across the bottom so that she's kind of standing on it. So I want her feet to go about there. So then her dress could go about there. So I'm going to tack the dress down because I know that... I'm ready to do that. So let's say about, uh, about there, I guess. Can't get it too high or her head's going to be off the page. Yeah, I think that's good. <clears throat> and then I'll get her feet down. I was afraid I was going to lose the feet. So I often have a little bin and when I'm cutting out the little things for a project, I put them all together in a in the bin so that. So the other thing that I want to do, I also cut out this little, this. Oh, I also cut out this little banner. That has Christmas, but I'm not sure if that's going to work, but it's an idea. So we'll we'll leave that there. I've got this little nutcracker and but I found some of this is vintage lace this was my mother's and before I actually get that foot down oh well, I wanted to well, I think that would work her little foot's peeking out underneath there I'm gonna get this uh, this lace down Right there, add a little kind of dimension, make it a bit dimensional. I'm going to move that foot for right now or I'll end up losing it. Um, so to tack that down, I am going to use the Fabri-Tac. Hope for the best. So put a thin bead along here. I want to thank you guys that are always leaving comments and um, reaching out that I so appreciate it. When I started the YouTube channel, I really wasn't expecting, I don't know what I was, I guess I wanted to do it for my personal growth. Um, I didn't really have like an end goal. The only thing I was, you know, didn't want to get involved in is people who kind of spread the negativity. And I must say that so far, you have all been very good to me. And I'm really grateful for that because I do enjoy coming in here and 
meeting up with you guys. It's just, uh, <laughs> that's kind of cute. It's just really nice. Um, okay, so we've got our little frill on there. And then I had tried to do this earlier. And it was, I can't even find it now. It was an epic fail in that I tried, oh, here it is. I tried to do the pleats in her dress, kind of like how the pleats are there. And it doesn't look as bad in real life as it's showing up on the, on the camera, but I didn't really like it. I kind of liked it better just, just like that. So, so that's how I've left it. Um, one thing I have done though, is I've made a slit in her purse so that she, right there. So I've come across with my, um, exacto knife and I've just cut a slit there because I'm going to put something in her purse, but I want to get this down where her arms should go. I think they should go about there, I think looks good. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get this down. I'll tack it down and then do better with it in a minute. Um, okay, so, and then I wanted to put some lace at her throat there. So I thought that that would, that would look cute too. So let's get a piece of this lace down. So I need to cut it about there. It's a rainy day here today in Halifax. It's um, about nine degrees, which is pretty good for December. Um, my birthday's tomorrow. Actually, when you watch this, it will already have gone by. But today's the second, and this will come out on Friday, the the eighth, maybe. Um, but yeah, typically, a lot of not typically, not lately. Typically, this is our weather lately with global warming. But a lot of years, it would snow this weekend. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. <laughs> it's kind of cute. So I'm going to put her head on dimensionals because I think that would be good. But I can't find the dimensionals that I just pulled out here earlier. How do things just disappear all the time? That's what I'd like to know. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do which I, <laughs> is I want to... Just let me get... Actually, I think I could use bigger ones than that. Um, but I was at Michael's the other day, and I got some of this uh, little gold wire. It's really malleable. It's almost like it's just really malleable. It's really good. So I thought what would be cute is to make her um, some glasses. So I tried to make them so that they were cute like so and then we can stick the back of them I don't know like <laughs> kind of like that <laughs> you can see the little glasses <laughs> oh my my mother would laugh at that Okay, so I had to get that one better though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, sorry for the noise. My cutting board just slipped. It scared me to death. I'm going to get um, some other foam tape. Okay, so just to keep those in place, those bits of. Uh, wire. I'm just going to use a little bit of scotch tape just to hold that down a little bit. Uh, 
All right, so there we go. And then I'm just gonna put some little foam tape there and then maybe a little piece over here. I haven't had time lately to work on my Christmas journal, but I've, I've made a decision that I'm not going to leave it until November to work on it. I'm going to I'm just going to work on it all year long if I want to. And what I think I might do is do up a couple. Then I might sell at a sale or something next year. But if I think if you're going to do that, you, you can't wait to the last minute. Okay, so I'm thinking about... I'm thinking that I need to get my, excuse me if my head gets in the way there, my pit pen and just, oh, the other thing I did is I've glued this on to 110 pound cardstock. So it was a little bit more rigid for putting the dimensionals on the back and propping, propping it up, propping up the head. Uh, somebody said in one of the comments last week, uh, well, why don't you photocopy, uh, scan or copy it? Um, the short answer is because my printer is out of uh, ink. I have an HP printer and the ink is just getting way too expensive. It's like $100 for a color or nearly for a colored ink uh, cartridge. So I've decided that after Christmas, um, unless I see a good sale, I want to get the um, Ep Epson Eco Tank. So I'm just trying to get by without having to do co color printing. We do get a um, in uh, Halifax. I'm not sure if it's all the libraries in Nova Scotia or just in the central region, but we get so much a month free printing. So coming up now, it starts fresh each month. So I've got, if I need to do a color print, I can go over the library and do it, but my printer has no ink. Um, so that's the short answer. The long answer is uh, Daphne's diary is quite strict on copyright and reprinting even for your personal use. I'm not sure um, where we'd stand on that. Um, but for those of you who aren't aware, um, Daphne's Diary prohibits um, any resale of an item that you've made using any of the magazine. So I couldn't resell this journal. I could give it away, um, but I couldn't sell it. So that's just something to uh, keep in mind. Okay, so I'm just going to um, tack down the bottom of her bag there. And I mentioned at the beginning that on that ad Advent page, I don't know if you can see it, there's this little tree with this little bear, his little head sticking out. the, And then... I've taken a couple of those little um, nutcrackers and I thought that I would tuck them as if she's carrying them in her little purse there. So there's the tree with the teddy and then let's have a little nutcracker coming out there. Okay, and then thinking about having a little nutcracker, maybe his little head peeking out from behind the tree. So it kind of looked like that, sticking out of her, <laughs> of her purse. Um, and then the other thing that I did is I went through my stash and I found some little bits 
that and I could use a piece of that green um, some little bits that I thought might look good to put on her purse as a bow and I don't even care if the bottom part um, of that bow shows shows up not bothered by that at all so we've got because I'm going to bring those down a bit but we've got a gold bow which would look cute I've got this red spark I don't think I like that one I got that little one that one looks kind of cute and then I think I had another one but I cannot find it I kind of like this gold one so I think I'm gonna go with that one and then I'm just gonna reach behind me and get out my little dots if I can find one there there's one my little jelly dot things and I'm gonna put the bow on using one of these little dots I'm gonna stick that on there and then just to just to kind of cover up that I think I will take some Fabri-Tac and just just train that down there a little bit like that it's kind of come along there and then pull that over onto there and work it around like so and then I could even pull that that way but it doesn't it doesn't really bother me that um, okay and then the saying I thought was every day is an opportunity and I sometimes need to be reminded of that because I'll go to bed and think, well, like today I, today I didn't, I don't know, stick to my diet or I didn't do whatever. But then, then I think, you know, tomorrow is an opportunity to do it again. So every day is an opportunity. Um, and that's a little bit too far over, so I want to put something there. Oh, I'm going to put this little, this little cranberry. So it looks like a little or ornament. This is was one of those little cranberries that got pulled off. But if I put it kind of hanging over there, then it kind of looks like it's a little ornament hanging off there. Okay, well, I'm going to gonna say I think I'm done but I'm gonna tack down these guys so they don't fall off before Christmas they don't oops they don't fall out of her bag oh there we go I picked up the wrong Elmer's glue I'm just trying to use what's left in this in this bottle. I got about this much left. Um, I picked up the school glue and not the strong glue. Um, and the difference is that there's less water in the strong glue. So things don't kind of slide as they do with this glue. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to do with her. And I'm sure there's lots. I, could put little ornaments on there I guess but I didn't have anything else from the magazine and I try to keep with the magazine images so I think that that's good um, so I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna put her but I intend to do a few kind of seasonal ones Christmassy ones so I think I might just 
give her her own place in this one here maybe I can move them around later oh, I'm not sure hmm. I guess it'll have to be this one so maybe we'll just put her in there and I won't take the time now to do it but <laughs> there's our cute little page for today um, so thanks for watching and if you've liked today's video then please um, give me a like and if you haven't subscribed I would love for you to subscribe um, and thank you again for all you guys that are coming back for more uh, but until next time I hope you stay happy and healthy and bye for now <laughs>